smoking up the herbs, guys. So our only sacrament herbs is for the service of man and grass. Bringing up those cow. trees. Yeah, I'm a sour nut rocker. Blazing. This is Zachary representing hard herbalist them in a Slovakia. I'm a sour nut rocker. Yee, sing along, y'all. Roll up a next split, roll up a next split. No cocky and give we more ganja. What? Roll up a next split, roll up a next split. I am on no ramp when in my bone ganja. You know what the rest of my nature in from the hill. Which part the earth? You know who it is, it's your boy, that big daddy Papas Fritas, your host on the next split. What's good? Word up, yo. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. What up, my dude? What up, what up? What up, what up? It's your boy. You know who it is? I know who it is. You know who it is. <laughs> Are you done raging, bro? Am I done raging? Yeah, I'm done raging. <laughs> which ra- which oh, rage man. session are you referring to? Because I feel like I've been raging all day at work, at home, the baby, the wife, the equipment. It's just been one rage fest after another. What are you referring to? I'm I'm referring to um, the equipment issues. Oh yeah, yeah, bro. Well, my equipment issues are not quite zo- resolved. I mean, you know. As I told, as I, as I, I don't know if anybody knows, but we we recently got new equipment, got some new microphones. Everything is working fine. Just got a few little bugs. Like when I'm recording, like right now, I hear an echo in my headset. Now that echo doesn't come out when I record, but it's fucking driving me nuts. Mm-hmm. Like right now, I just want to beat myself in the face with this microphone. <laughs> Yeah, but then I, I, I can't hear. I need to be able to hear and make sure that your your sound, sound quality is good coming in from the speaker and that I'm not too far away from the microphone. You know, I need to keep the micro, the headphones on so I could maintain control. Okay, okay. You feel me? I feel you. All right. You know, this, is, this ain't easy, this podcasting business. You know what I'm saying? I see it. So... For y'all that don't know, I got my son on the phone with me today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say what's up. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's my yeah. man. So me and my, my me and my man spent the Saturday night together. We watched the Deontay Wilder fight here together. Me and him, we had a good time. We tried out some new Spleef products, right, pops? Uh huh. Yeah, good time. Yeah, we had a good time. Uh, you know, usually we are joint rollers, right? Yeah, uh, we're joint rollers. Um, my my son likes to put uh, a little Fanto in his joints because it I gives. It, I'm a big fan. He's a big fan of the Fanto, and to be quite honest, I love the Fanto. I love the taste because it reminds me of a blunt without all the extra fucking blunt paper. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. It just had. It, yeah. It it burns slower, and it's got just a little hint of taste of that blunt, which I miss. I stopped smoking blunts because they stink worse than joints. And when you have a you wife that... Hand in your face. Yeah. And then when you got a wife who don't smoke, and you got a toddler and shit, yeah. it's just not a good look. So I stopped smoking blunts a while ago. And, you know, I use the joints. I like to roll nice cones. I like to roll Wait. one and a quarters. Yeah, do you, but you, my thing, you, you roll the, the fancy joints, like you have the pre-rolled, not the pre-rolled ones, but you don't roll your joints. I, well, I, I don't roll them, but I, I roll them. Don't get me wrong. I do roll them. They're not pre-rolled. I just roll cones. So I use like a, I use one of these little products that lets you roll a cone. It's basically a piece of wood shaped like a cone with a notch in there for a tip for a, what do you call it? A, um. Filter. For a filter, right? So I use the raw cone filters, so they're kind of shaped with a little bit of curve. I put it in the notch, and yeah. then I wrap. I basically wrap a rolling paper around the uh, the cone, and it goes around it exactly one time, you know, with just enough to get the glue there, 
and you pull it off the cone and, and uh, off of the, the, the piece of wood and boom, you got yourself a, a, a pre-roll cone looks like. All you got to do is fill it up with the tree. So now I, now I got a cone. What is it called? A cone filler. That basically it looks like it's a little plastic thing that looks like a scooper. And then it's got a little part that goes inside the cone. So you scoop up the trees and you push it inside the cone with a little piece roll. of wood. Huh? So you got mad toys, bro. Just roll. Uh, fuck you, bro. I've been smoking trees longer than you've been born, <laughs> my man. You ain't going to tell me how to fucking roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like uh, whenever I go over, you it looks, it looks like you're doing a science experiment with all the. Oh, uh, like you know, you know why it looks like a science experiment to you because you're yeah. simple-minded. <laughs> That's why. A game of fucking tic tac, to yeah. To a game brain, of tic tac toe is like complicated is that what, is to that what you're you. That's exactly what I'm saying. I wasn't aware. All right. All right. So Shit, you know, it man. really ain't a, a science project. It's it's quite easy. And the and the reason why I like it more than anything, I don't know. It it never burns wrong. It never canoes, and it burns is, nice and slow. This is as I'm smoking a canoe joint. <laughs> Good for you. That's what you get. So anyway, you already got your spleef going. I'm about to light mine. So all things being said, done. oh yours is done. All right. It's a well, little little toothy, little uh, toothy. Yeah. Well. That happens a lot, right? When you're by yourself, sometimes you roll up a little tiny it's split. Just, there's like a, a, a culture among smoking weed. I don't know if it's all, if it's a New York thing of just guys, regular guys that just love to waste weed. What do you mean, like rolling joints that are too big? Rolling big fat blunts for themselves. Yeah. And like, like, what are you really getting out of that? Yeah, they get all gavone with it and shit, right? Yeah, and I'm not saying I, I'm not going to smoke a bunch. And right. if I'm with a couple people, I'm not going to smoke a fatty. Or right. if maybe I had a long day. Of, I feel uh, you. There's, there's occasions where I'm more, I'll roll more than extra. You're and right. Every time. But there really is no need for more than like 0. 0.7 or 0. 0.8. You shouldn't be rolling grams up. You should not. Is that what I you mean, just unless said? You, unless you really got it. You shouldn't. No. No, you're right. It's a waste. It is a waste. All it takes for me is a, the first of all, the thing with me, I roll a joint. I smoke the whole thing. I don't clip it. I don't put save some for later. I'm smoking yeah. that. So whether I roll a point seven in a one and a quarter or a fucking three grams in a king, I'm smoking the whole thing. I don't want to clip it. I hate clipping joints. I hate smoking a joint that's that was fucking you know a half a joint that was clipped yesterday it tastes sucks. like shit it sucks so yeah it sucks you're big right. dick. but i have i have friends of mine that that they smoke like that and it's almost like they're like trying to impress you and it's like i, I, I yeah. we don't share lungs you know what i mean like i don't yep. give a fuck dude yeah and then they waste the trees to be honest you're right it's it's a waste of tree yeah do you it's, know that mike tyson smokes nearly an ounce a day mm. Yeah, but he don't smoke it. He rolls it, but I don't think he smokes it by himself. He's got boys and people that he's with. He was on the Howard Stern. Was it the Howard Stern? It was Howard Stern or Joe Rogan? I forgot. But he, did, he did Rogan recently, like within a year. Yeah, and he said that he, that, that he smokes like 40,000 worth of weed a month. But there's no way he smokes that by himself. I think that at his company, all the dudes that are there, they fucking, between all of them, they probably blaze out like 40K a month in weed. You can't smoke 40, especially if you're growing it. You know, if you're growing it, that means you're getting that. You're dipping into your profits. Well, not only that, but if you're growing it, you're getting it at even below wholesale. You're growing it. Yeah. So you're getting it at a great price. And then you're smoking 40K of it. Or are you talking about 40K if you sold it instead of smoked it? You know, I, yeah, I mean, the prices are very different depending yeah, on exactly. at which point of the transaction down yeah. the week. He's, I think, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't like those numbers. I'm not with it. Mm, Sorry. No, it, it is. And it is also like, like how much excess weed do you, like? So, all right. So if it's a pound, how much is a pound? How much money is a pound? Right. Like, like, like what did four, the pound like 12, cost you? You know, yeah. So if a, a pound's like twelve hundred, hypothetically speaking, and he's smoking forty grams a month, that means he's smoking over like ten pounds of bud. Yeah, ten to twelve pounds of bud a month. Exactly. It's nonsense. Right? I don't buy there's it. Also, there's also certain like people mm -hmm. that like you could tell them like I smoke. Yeah, I'll smoke a lot, but certain people that it's just like. 
they smoke right after they smoke. They smoke what? Right after they smoke. Oh yeah, you know they, they chain smoke weed. That's and it's like obvious, and it's obviously like a, like an addiction, but a like fixation at something. Yeah, like a fixation. They're not getting high at that point. No, 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 no. no. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I'll, I'll be lying if I said that something. I just, I don't just enjoy smoking. I, I love the shit out of smoking, but this right now, look, right now, what time is it? It's uh nine o'clock at night. This is my first joint of the day. I, I would have loved to have smoked my first joint at nine AM. It it just didn't work out that way. You know, you got you don't work. you don't like pack bud with you for like the drive home? No, no, I don't anymore because I've gotten pulled over a couple of times. Um and you know, came close to going to jail for smoking a joint. And you know, I, I don't wanna risk that anymore. Uh, I don't know if I told you, but there was uh, a while ago, I think it was like maybe three years ago. Um, I was driving towards the Goffles bridge by myself and, uh, yeah, there was a, a, like a construction zone. So the speed limit was a little bit lower. I was doing 60 something and it was 45 miles per hour, this limit. And I got pulled over and I was like, and, and I wasn't smoking a joint. I was, I was, um, uh, what do you call it? I was using the packs, uh-huh. little packs vaporizer. So it smells yeah. different. You know, it don't smell like smoked weed, but it's cooked weed. So, it, you yeah. know, and I started panicking like, oh, fuck, this is it. I'm going to jail right now. This is fucking embarrassing. All right. Yeah. That's insane. Cop pulls me over, walks up to the right side, <laughs> tells me to open my window. First thing he says is like, what are you fucking smoking in here? Are you kidding me? And I'm like, uh oh. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, ah, oh, nah, that wasn't me that was smoking. That was my, that was my man. I just dropped him off, bro. But I ain't smoking. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, bull fucking shit, motherfucker. You, you said that at yeah. 48. You said at that at 48. I said that to this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, as soon as it like, came yeah, out of my mouth, like, I was like, as soon as it came out of my mouth, I should have just said, you know what, bro? Yeah, I was fucking smoking. What do you yeah, want to do? Me, Am I going to jail like or are you letting me off the hook? What's it, it going like, to be? Yeah, you got me, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, I was smoking out here. I'm sorry. Yeah. So anyway, he like, you know, he's like, he basically says something like, all right, now you're going to shut the fuck up and you're going to take what I got to tell you because I'm about to fucking lay it on you and let you go. <laughs> And then uh-huh. he fucking tore into me. He was like, how old are you? You got kids. How can you fucking do this? You're fucking driving. Ba, ba, ba. You, you were going to risk going to jail and embarrassing your kids just so you could smoke a joint. Don't you have a fucking house? Can't you smoke there? I mean, are you kidding me? And the guy made all the sense in the fucking world. And I was like, you know what, bro? You're fucking right. I yeah. Mean, you're fucking right. You know, but at but this point. smoke in the car all the time. Huh? I said, but we still smoke in the car all the time. Well, I don't smoke in the car really, unless I am like going somewhere that's a quarter mile away from my house. I'm not driving to Jersey and fucking getting on the highway and fucking doing all kinds of crazy shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it was my friend. Yeah, no, it was my friend. He did it. And then fucking guy, I'm going to go kick his ass, all right? Yeah. Like the cop was going to be like, oh, it was your friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, that re- that reminds me of a of a funny story. I think I told you this one before. Because uh, I've had weird luck with cops. Like one time when I, uh, one time I was in Jersey City and I'm driving home. And it's fucking pouring rain. I can't mm-hmm. see two feet in front of me. And then I see a guy out in the middle of the street, like waving at the traffic and shit. I thought he was a fucking homeless dude. You know, he's got a big fucking long coat on, like a long raincoat. And I'm like, look at this fucking guy. And he's over there telling me to stop, telling me to stop. I'm like, yeah, all right, buddy. I'm going to watch this. I fucking roll down the window and I'm like, fuck you, asshole. And as soon as the hole came out of that word, I looked at him. And he's wearing a fucking cap hat, a cop hat. There's his badge. And the fucking oh raincoat God. was a Jersey City police raincoat. It was a fucking cop. He was directing traffic because the traffic light was out. And, oh my God. and, and it was pouring. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I would keep driving. But there's so much fucking traffic. 
that I, I'm stopped. And now I see the motherfuckers marching towards the car. You know, it wasn't close, but he's marching really fast and we're not moving. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker, you got to be kidding me. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? All right. All right. Boom. I straighten up and shit. I'm looking out the window like I don't see nothing. All of a sudden, you know, I'm looking out my, my, my mirror and I see that he pulls over the car behind me. Tells him to pull over to the side of the road. And I'm like, oh, good. I got off the hook. But wait. Then he walks over to my car and shit. And I'm like, fuck. So he pounds on the window and I act all surprised. Like, oh, shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, you scared me. Uh, open the window. I open the window. Yes, officer. He goes, yeah. Yeah. What'd you say to me back there? Fuck you, asshole, right? And I'm like, pull over. And I'm like, whoa, 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 officer. All due respect, I'm going to pull over. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to pull over right here like a good little boy. I'm about to pull over, and he goes, ah, go ahead. It was this guy behind you. <laughs> I was like, skirt, skirt. Out that piece, bro. You, was, were, you sprinted off. Bro, I was out. And then when I was out, I like yell, let, let out a fucking rebel yell. Like, you remember that movie, uh, The 300? Yeah. Yeah, I was like one of those fucking gladiator dudes about to fucking kill somebody with his bare hands. Like like, oh, this is Sparta. Yeah, all that. Yeah, it was one of those, you know. It was a Hollywood moment, bro. I was so fucking hyped, bro. Oh, man, I was hyped. <laughs> I felt like I could do anything that day. Oh my god! I, I feel like what what would even be the the um, punishment in that scenario? I mean, he if could he give me a fucking ticket. Like, would he, he, he arrest you for that, or he, he take it? Like, I mean, if he pulls me over and I'm like, yeah, that's right, fuck you, eh? Sure. You <laughs> yeah, know, like if you step into it more for if sure. If I step, like, if I leaned into it, then you know it would have been a problem. But you know, if I would have like been like, like officer, he, I'm sorry, I thought you hocked the loogie in his face. That might have that might have amped it up. You don't think? Yeah. But if I would have been like, listen, bro, I'm sorry. I thought you were a homeless dude. You fucking, I like, couldn't see your badge or you, you know, I, th- I literally thought you were a homeless dude begging for money in the street. Yeah. You know, maybe I would have gotten away with it or with a ticket or some shit, but I, I would not have went to jail that night. <laughs> Funny, though. <laughs> it was a good story. Fuck you, asshole. Bro, I looked at him. I saw that big fucking Tom Selleck mustache. You were like, oh. I was like, oh, this nigga, this guy ain't homeless. Bro. I made a mistake. <laughs> I saw the fucking hat, and I'm like, what? Why is he wearing that? And then I saw the badge on the hat, and I'm like, yeah, I knew I was done right there. Yeah, that's bro. I yeah. just, I just wish you would have just leaned into it. That would have been funny. Oh my god, yeah, I might not have made it home that night, but no. whatever. Yeah, would have made a good story. It would have been, a good time. Yeah. but yeah, dumb. So, like, um, what do you, what do you think about what Deontay Wilder said about why he lost his fight? Yeah, bro, I love it. I fucking love it's, it. Right? It's it's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit because you know you and I watched the fight, right? And we and, know, we both agreed that this that that the costume was over the top. Well, his costume. Well, they were both over the top. I mean, Fury, his was over the top because. He came in like on one of those things that the pharaohs come in on with four women holding him up on their shoulders. And he's yeah. sitting down on a big throne with a big, a big old cheap robe. Looked like he got it out of, you know, like he got it at Target. And, it and like, yeah, and like a 1976 Burger King crown, you know? Yeah. Burger King used <laughs> yeah. to do those little cardboard crowns they used to give everybody, make believe they was a king. It looked like that, yeah. right? But you know what? His robe was light and he got carried to the ring. So he didn't spend no energy. Now this guy, yeah. Deontay Wilder, he goes on complaining that, yeah, you know, uh, it weighed like 40 pounds and my legs got tired bringing it in. And I was like, whoa, bro. I mean, what, what, what was that? What type of, what type of athlete it gets you? It gets exhausted from carrying forty pounds. Yeah, carrying forty pounds into the ring, and what you didn't you didn't try that piece of shit on? You didn't know it was yeah. going to be that heavy, yeah. you know. But um, <laughs> Stephen A. Smith I, went off on him. Yeah. Did you hear it? I didn't hear Stephen A. Smith. Though. All right, so uh, hold on. I can't play all of this because it's like six minutes long. But let's listen into some of it. Hold on. 
with you all. As I read this quote from Deontay Wilder, I confess I thought it was a joke, but according to the guys, it is legit. So Wilder wore an elaborate 40 pound outfit on his ring walk before mm. losing the Akita. This ain't Stephen A. Smith. He later told her Dan Raphael the following I paid a severe price because my legs were, were how they were because, because, because of my, my uniform. uniform. My uniform was too heavy. It was 40 plus pounds. And we had it on for 10 or 15 minutes. Oh. That was extra weight, and then the ring walk, then going up the stairs. Oh wow! It was like a real workout for my legs. When I took it off, I knew immediately the game has changed. Well, then you, my friend, uh, fucked up your career. He's an idiot. I mean, why does he even need to come out with that fucking stupid? Yeah, bro. I mean, you should know you don't want to fucking come in with a with a fucking you know body of armor. Yeah, he looks. He looked like a Transformer if the Transformer was also from Compton. Yeah, a, a Transformer from Compton in the year 20, 2200 because oh, it was yeah. very in futuristic. The year, in the year 3020. Yeah, that, that's more like it. Yeah, right around there. Yeah, but that he, was, he that was nonsense. And I don't think that was the reason. I mean, he, got, he was getting fucked up. I mean, he was getting his ass kicked. Well, I mean, he did get his ass kicked. He got smoked really bad. Um, yeah, I think. I mean, you you saw. To me, it just seemed like this guy was so heavy, and you know he was heavy, but he wasn't fat or obese looking like like a Ruiz. You know, no, uh, he was just uh, a big boy. The guy's six foot nine. He could be two hundred and seventy pounds when you're six nine and be an athlete. Yeah. You can be. Yeah, and um, you know he oh, caught him with that punch to the back of the ear early in the fight. I think it was the first round, maybe or, or the second round. I think it was right. Was it the yeah, second? Yeah, something like that. He caught him in the back. But of the, even for the first round, he was on him. He was on him. I actually, no, it was the third round that he that he caught him with that shot. And then after that, it was like he's so big that like uh, Wilder couldn't handle him. Like uh, like he fell, backing up and tripping over his leg. Yeah, I, you know, if you're a strong dude, you're just gonna bump legs. But you know, yeah, he's backing up and he's got no legs under him. Before I think it was from that shot, not from the. Well, put it this way: I'm sure that the that the outfit, the uniform, paid. You know, it definitely um played into it. But you know that those shots that he was taking, <laughs> I think, had a little more something to do with it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, he was getting his ass kicked. Bro. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't a. And I think even if he has fresh legs there, he gets fucking smoked regardless. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> have you um, have you ever seen the videos of that guy Charlie Zelenoff, <laughs> where, where he um he like antagonizes fighters, and he 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 got a young Deontay Wilder's phone number and was harassing him and saying like fight me, I'll come to the gym, I'll pull up. So the guy actually pulled up to Deontay Wilder's gym and Deontay Wilder kicked his ass. Really. Yeah. Like bare hands and shit or No, they boxed they boxed. But oh, the guy wow. was running around the car, he was doing cheap shots. He did, there's something wrong with him. Right. But maybe not. I don't know. Like he's but there's, kind of there's the... no way a dude could just come in and because he he could he could fucking sue him, no? No. I I'm telling you, watch the video. Like I, I have it queued here. Where but do you have it? I, I mean yeah, it's not gonna do me any good there. Did you put it did you put it on the dock that we talked about? <laughs> No, I didn't. All right, well, then you suck. <laughs> yeah. Because I could open it up right now off of that doc if you had it in there. Inside story, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm going to the bitch right now. I'd but, love, yeah, so I'd the love guy to see it. Can you, put it on, can you put it on the doc right now? Just copy the link and put it up there. It saves automatically. Is it too much time? I'm doing it. I'm in the process of doing it at the moment. All right, let me know when it's done. And we'll see what kind of trash you're talking with this video. Facts. So this is probably going to be the last podcast for the month. Because we reached our space quota. And there's nothing in the budget to get more space this month. So this will be the last podcast this month. And then we'll be back on on the first Monday of Mm -hmm. March. Which I think is the third, if I'm not mistaken. So what do you got, bro? You ready for me? I'm I'm doing it right now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This guy. But yeah, bro. So, uh, I just updated it. Oh, Go. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, I see. I just, I just dropped the link. Yeah, I got it. it. I, that's how fast it is, bro. You see? Be organized. E this guy. Okay, so this fight starts off. Th it, this starts off with the guys already in the ring, and I got to see. Is this really Deontay? Is it Deontay Wilder? 1,000%. Press play. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. He's not even in the ring. He's literally, like, chasing him around the gym. And he's not a heavyweight. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> he was trolling him heavy, bro. Yo, Deon he, the, the dude was sitting on the ground, and Deontay teed off on him. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. He got, yeah, Deontay got dirty. He must have been pissed. Because the guy's literally on the ground, and he comes over and gives him a shot in the face. Yo, he's crazy. He said he's done? No, get up. He ain't getting up. His team is like, yo, chill, bro. We got millions of dollars in contracts. Bro, he works, was talking bro. about his family and... He was calling his phone wow, relentlessly. Bro. The, look at Wilder, bro. He's big, bro. Oh, oh wow. He guy. came. Oh, my God. He came back at him. And Wilder got him with a left. <laughs> Yo, I got to see that. Oh, wow. Yo. So Wilder knocks him out. He talks trash to his face. And then while the dude is sitting covering his face, Wilder takes another shot at him. Wow. That's... Yo, did he call him? Did he call him an N word, bro? Probably. I think he did. Yo. Yeah, I think you better leave, my man. Yeah. This guy's crazy. Bro, the guy looks like he weighs 180 pounds at best. I can't hear you over the, over oh. the video. The guy looks like he weighs 180 pounds at best. Yeah, bro. That, that guy is out of his mind. If you look up more Charlie Zelenoff videos, he's he's an internet troll. He goes to video, he goes to random gyms and stuff. Right. And he'll just give guys gloves. Right. And he'll just cheap shot them. And is this his gym? I mean, is this no. his YouTube channel? No, this is like a widely spread video. All right, hold like, on. I got to finish super. watching this now. Yo, he, he's waxing this dude, bro. Can you hear me? I guess not. Fuck him. He's a jerk off anyway. What, you heard me? No, what'd you say? Oh, no, nothing, bro. So, yeah, bro. This was, <laughs> this was good, bro. Yeah. But at least this guy could walk off saying he, got, he took a punch from Deontay Wilder. He took a few punches from him. And you know what? He even took a couple of cheap shots from Deontay sitting down on his ass trying to cover his face. Yeah. You know, so yeah, he at least he, he took a few shots. I'll, yeah. I'll give him that. He took some shots. He, he definitely took some shots on the chin. Yeah. Some clean shots. And he didn't like, and he didn't knock him out. He ain't knocked out. No. He I did like not it. knock him out. And the guy's small. Yeah, no, he's small. He's literally like maybe 175, 180 pounds. But why doesn't he leave? Yeah, he stays there talking trash. Because he says something's wrong with him. He, oh, like, he's... He, he says that he wins. Like, he's like, oh, I'm undefeated. Oh, really? So this is a victory for him? Yeah. Yeah, it's a victory. My head's still on my shoulders. Yeah, basically. I'm sorry, the guy's story is, a lot, is, is crazy. He's fucking... Yo, he's Wilder. Oh, wow. He, <laughs> the dude... <laughs> Yo, the dude was at the door, and Wilder, the guy was his coach is taking off his gloves, and he may yeah. believe he was gonna come after him, and he ran. <laughs> he fucking ran. Hell yeah, you're gonna run. You got that right. He fucking killed him. Jeez. Dante Wilder would literally murder him. Yeah, that's that was good shitty. I like that. Word. Word. All right, my dude. Well. I got like another little pull on this spleef right here. Let me just, let me get that last cantacito. Hold on. All right. Oh, yeah. Ah. 
Good shit. Well, my son, it's been a pleasure talking to you this evening. Anything else you want to say before you bounce? A lot of pizza, chicken, grease in the Middle East. All right. I'll take some of that. My dude. Word. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later, my man. Till the next bleep, y'all. Peace. So I only sacrament herbs is for the service of man and grasses for the cows. Yeah, I'm a one of rockers blazing. This is Zachary representing hard herbalist them in a Slovakia. I'm a one of rockers. Roll up on next clip. Roll up on next clip. No cookie and give we more ganja. Roll up on next clip. Roll up on next clip. I am on no ramp when he my bone ganja. You know the rest of my name chatting from the hill. Which part the herb going up?